Saints. Another beautiful day here at Straightway, and I wanted to show you what Pastor Dow and our brethren are up to today. He's been keeping you updated with our current project, the building of an extension onto the outside of our dining hall, an upper and lower deck. So he's directing the truck right now. And everyone, not everyone, but a lot of our brethren are over here waiting for the pad to be poured. Concrete guys here, they were out early this morning gathering uh, lots of rocks to set the post. And they have their area all up here ready to go. It's really organized. A lot of building supplies and tools and things down on the opposite end there. So I just wanted to show you, give you a quick peek on what it takes. And it's already 70 something degrees out here. Very hot, sweating already. It's probably gonna be at least 90 today. So fast is still, still communicating and talking. Stay tuned and watch. Watch the show. around here. It's a joyful thing. It's one of the joys of living together in unity. It's not a burden at all. It's something that to look forward to. And when you go home and you go home tired, it's all worth the day. Preparation everywhere. I wish I knew more about what in the world kind of tools these brothers have today. So I'm unable to tell you at this point. I guess if any of you want to come help us out, you'll find out firsthand what it takes. Thank you. 
here. Obviously, it's rolling like clockwork. We're not waiting on anyone. So now you can see the area that they're going to pour. It's our brother Scott there waiting on it. Faithful brother. Brother Juan off to the side. Most of you know he'll be leaving us and doing the Father's work in Colombia. Sadly, Pastor's having to direct the man who does this every day for a better idea.
brother to get out here at least by 5.50 this morning, 6 a.m., something like that, to gather and wait on the truck. It's probably about 8.30 right now, so we've been willing and able for hours now, but it does take a lot of preparation. I'm excited to see this thing be finished. The inside of our dining hall is spectacular. It's beautiful since the brothers have finished the interior and the extension, which is directly behind Brother Scott right now. That's the extension that many of you have seen on your visit. So we're actually on that end of the dining hall right now. job of the drivers. about 30 minutes and the brothers have done quite a lot. Let's take it all the way down to the end. There's Brother Jamie. So they've gone about half the distance of the dining hall in just 30 minutes. Put some quick work. Let's her again.
lots of the concrete right here that you see throughout the length of the dining hall were built to uphold the foundation to make sure that we don't have any problems with our concrete or our wall. Instead, things are falling. So that's what you see behind it. There's about four of them on the length of the dining hall. Very hard to walk in. Very heavy to pick your feet up in this mess. We have eight brothers, eight brothers out here, I believe. Plus pasta. Is that it? Is that it? You got more? How many yards did you have? Nine? All right. Make up something to do with these You had seven. We don't came that way. Hey, bro, Jane, that's too soon. Yeah. Y'all get a whole grab a whole thing wheel bound. I can pull it over this way and drop some of this. People have that for me.
project that started at 8.30 this morning is coming to an end. It is now 10.15. You see Pastor doing some of the smoothing out and leveling from the very end of the dining hall. I'll show you the whole link. I guess that's maybe 25 yards or so. I don't know. Taking my guess. I see if everyone is able to stand on it. He's on a board. Hey, you know my secret for low spot here. Self-leveling concrete. <laughs> right. It's really nice, thanks. Weather like this and the heat as hot as it is, take a few days. You can go ahead and head down to the south right now. It's only a few days to clear this, clear this concrete thing. So. off here and made the extension as you can see and there's the engine to the dining hall I'm going to give you a look from the front. There's Zephin in the rocks. Where's your shirt, Zephin? Hmm? Where's your shirt? 
And there you have it. That is a long pad. Very, very long pad. After something like this, it seems, I'm sure, it seems as though you've worked all day, eight to 10 hours. It's a lot of strenuous work to accomplish in just two, and I'm sure years ago it would have took a lot longer than that. So everything you see has truly been done by the brothers here. From the dining hall that is behind or in front of Pasta, Putting in the windows, the roof, laying the blocks, pouring the foundation for this extension, even the mulch that is mounded up behind Pastor was shoveled and raked by the brethren. And there goes Seth. Just came from the creek, so he is shirtless. <laughs> Brother Scott, was this your first experience pouring concrete? Um, this size, yes. Yes? All right. We're very thankful for Brother Scott's help. He's been here every day for weeks on end to help the brother. Pastor, thank you for your labor. All right, all right, all right. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Says you two's pastor. Now, we just got finished Israel with a um, um, concrete pour uh, out here straightway today. A uh, bunch of new young men, of course, they're not uh, new to the concrete system in itself, um, but just part of the extension right here. Um, it's, it's just rough, concrete is rough, it's hard work, um, but but nevertheless, we're getting it done. Um, we hope that you learned something. Um, try to take our time, but I, I can't dress it up anyway. But the concrete is just tough. It's just tough, hard work. And um, if you're going to be building any communities, man, uh, you might as well set it, set your mind to it uh, that it's tough. And you really, truly need to be in shape when you're dealing with concrete. I mean, unless you do this for a living on a daily basis, um, uh, it's going to be really, really rough on you. And we don't do it on a daily basis, and it's rough on us. But if you're going to set your mind to do uh, any type of formal community for the saints of the Most High, uh, you might as well just go ahead and get your heart and your mind ready. You better start some type of workout program. Uh, you better do something to get yourself ready for this hard work. But anyway, I um, hope you learned something um, with Ash's commentary, too, on that. Shalom, have a good day.